Hey everyone, Leo with the Dreaming Tree, and welcome to the assembly video for our little truffle box freebie. Now I have all of my items here cut out, as should you. And uh, well, I'm gonna take it here from the beginning because I feel that a lot of, we get a lot of new people that start off with our freebies. So I'm gonna go over some, some basics here. Now this is what all of your pieces are gonna look like once you get them cut out. Um, I actually use the solid score wheel on this. So we do, well, in both cases, whether you use a solid score wheel or the um, perforated score marks, which we do offer for those machines that don't have the ability to do solid score lines. Uh, obviously we want to fold everything at the folds at the little score mark locations just to get it all ready to go. And I did that with pretty much everything here. Now this little piece, the little, little top, uh, this is actually the lid, has what looks like, well, I guess this would be fondant or syrup or probably just like a fondant that goes on top. And then this is the little basket that the little treat box is going to sit in once we're done. We also have this very unique little 3D flower and that piece there. So let's start off by putting together the box itself. And we're gonna accomplish that by simply connecting all of the tabs together. Okay, so go ahead and start applying your glue to the tab. And what I like to do is throw a little extra glue along the edge and then take and spread that glue out to the very edge of the tab. And then go ahead and bring it in and connect it to its neighbor, press down on the tab there. And then we'll just repeat that process a few more times until we get all of the tabs connected. This is gonna be the main box that our little truffles are going to fit in. Okay, doing the same thing here, spreading that glue out to the very edge of the tab, get that nice and aligned and press down. There we go. Same thing here, just going around clockwise, counterclockwise, doesn't really matter. Spread that glue out, bring it in, and connect. And then finally, we'll close it up by applying glue to the last tab there. I'm gonna do the same thing. Spread that glue out and press that into place. And there's our little box. Okay, next let's go ahead and put the lid together. So we have this here. We're gonna do the same thing essentially. Put some glue on this tab here, thin that out and then bring it over to its neighbor and press that into place. And moving right along here. Now, it's very important that, again, if you are new, if you've watched my videos before, I talk about this constantly, but uh, go easy on the glue. Less is more. Uh, if you overdo it with the glue, you're gonna spend a lot of time waiting for it to dry. You just want a nice thin layer of glue so that you can literally just press it a few times and it'll get tacky enough to where it'll set nice and quick. And you don't have to sit around waiting for each little tab to dry. It's like watching paint dry, kind of. I mean, <laughs> it's essentially the same thing. And heaven knows, no one wants to sit around and do that. So practice until you get a good feel for your glue and you can go nice and easy with the pressure and then thinning it out with your finger is super helpful as well. It really helps distribute that glue, which also helps in the setting time. Okay, there we go. There's our beautiful lid. And I'm actually gonna take and I'm gonna ink this just like that. I hit this with a little bit of pink. I picked out a pink color, but I'm not exactly sure 
if this is gonna work. So I'll try it, and then if it doesn't work, I can just hit it with, I'm guessing, I'm thinking that a red is actually gonna work better on this. We'll see. Let's take a look and see what we get here if we just brush some ink on this. I'm trying to get it, it's kind of a shimmery paper. But yeah, actually that's gonna work out nicely. I'll hit that with a little ink. It just gives it a little extra dimension, a little extra interest since everything doesn't look so uniform. There we go. You can even hit the tips of the little fondant pieces here a little bit. Why not? Okay, and I'm going to do all four sides just to keep it all consistent. And these are just uh, little felt applicators made by Ranger. I've wanted to just go to Joann's and find some felt, like by the yard, and just cut my own. It probably would be a lot less expensive, but these work wonderfully. There are other options out there. I've tried a few. I just like the effect that this gives me. I just think it's uh, nice and subtle, almost like I'm getting a nice little gradient on it. Okay, and that just leaves one more side. And you can see how nice that inking makes it look. It doesn't makes it look less boxy and kind of, you know, makes it more lifelike, I think. Okay. All right, so let's test this out. Now, it may be a little weird putting this lid on because you've got all these little points everywhere. So you just wanna be careful when you put that on, okay? All right, so now we've got a little basket here. Okay, and you can see the little tabs. And it's all we're gonna do is just glue the tabs to each other. Very similar to what we just did, minus the fact that it's a different shape. Tuck that right behind its neighbor and press and hold. Now I also hit this with a little bit of ink, but I might actually touch it up a little bit more. Okay, let's get some glue on there. There we go. And just going around all four sides until our little, our little basket is complete. And then we have a new little 3D flower that we're gonna to put together as well. I'm not sure how that works. It's all one piece. It's kind of interesting, the way that it works. And I'll show you here in a second. Okay, so that's gonna go right in there. Now, this little leaf here, you can see that we're, you can see there's little score marks right at the very tip. You're gonna take and put that between your two fingers and just pinch all the way around to give it a little dimension. Okay, we'll put that right there. And with this flower, what I found the best method to be um, was to actually, and this is the texture side here, so I'm gonna flip it over, and I'm literally gonna take and just kind of train this, uh, these little petals and try to make them round first, just to kind of release some of the tension and the fibers of the paper here, so that when we bring it in, we don't risk creasing it. Okay, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this we're gonna fold it in so that this circle matches that circle. Okay, just like that. Okay, and that is actually perfect right there. So here's what we'll do. We'll just throw a little bit of glue right here in the center. It's very easy. Dab that a little bit to thin it out, and then pop that circle right on top of the other circle and press and hold. Kind of shape that a little bit more to make it more round if you'd like. Okay, and then the next one is literally gonna go right on top of the previous one. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take that and bring it in and press it down right onto that little circle and press and hold. Give it a few seconds to set and then continue on. And there's some tension there. I feel it kind of coming apart. So hot glue might be good for this uh, if you're patient and allow this to sit a little bit longer with just standard glue, 
that will work just fine. Uh, if you don't, don't want to wait for each one, I may suggest using some hot glue. There we go. I'm going to thin that out a little bit and then bring the next one in just like that and hold. Okay. There we go. And the last one. And just bring that in just like that. And there we have a new little 3D flower, just one piece. It's kind of cool. Okay. And just keep holding that down for just a moment until it sets. So now we're going to take a little bit of glue, just throw it right in the center of the little calyx piece. And again, we're just matching up the little circle there in the center, the little hole. And press that down into place. And then we're going to grab a little rhinestone. Let's see how big this one is. Let's see if that's too big. I think that looks perfect. So we'll throw that on there. Now my rhinestones don't have a sticky back on it. So we'll just throw some glue on there. Use that to hold it in place. Okay. And then we can take this whole thing and just glue it right on top. Pop a little dot of glue right in the center. There we go. Okay, so it's all done here. And um, you could probably take a little bit of parchment paper or wax paper, whatever, put it in there so that in case there are a few uh, little bits of oil in the candy you're putting in, which chances are there will be, even if it's butter or whatnot, um, you can fit some macaroons in here as well. And Got yourself a pretty little treat box. These would be perfect for, um, well, any sort of favor uh, at a you know wedding, uh, wedding shower, a baby shower, um, even at a wedding. I guess you could make these up for a wedding. But super cool, very quick and cute. Um, definitely take some time to ink it. Oh, and another thing too. Um, this is going to be crazy, but I am going to take and um, put these little white pearls throughout the pink part of this to really, really jazz it up. So I'm going to do that off camera because it's going to take a while and it's pretty redundant. Um, but you can actually see me doing that on TikTok. So if you are on TikTok, look us up uh, by doing a search for Dreaming Tree. And uh, that's pretty much it. So hopefully I don't eat all that chocolate because it look, looks great. I did already have one and it's very tempting. So uh, pray for me that I don't eat this whole box. And um, if you enjoyed this video, please visit us on YouTube and hit that subscribe button. We've got 44,000 subscribers now. So thank you to each and every one of you. And if you make this or anything from our recent set, uh, which is our tea time set, um, I'll show you a little bit of it here. Uh, visit us on Facebook and do a search for Dreaming Tree Group where you can join 34,000 of us um, and there's a lot of great crafters in there that inspire us daily. So visit us there as well. But either way, I hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to crafting with you again. Hey, thanks for crafting along with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of our other videos and also please consider hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to visit our site and check out our free SVG section where we have over 140 free SVG files complete with assembly videos. I look forward to crafting with you soon.